the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is Evangelist Brenda Thompson coming to you today. Today I greet you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and soon coming King. The title of my message today is A Mist of Darkness. My message is taken from Matthew chapter 27, verse 45 to 36, and my reference is Mark 15, verse 33 to 41. Now, from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, Lama Sabachani. That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Some of them said that stood there, when they heard that said, this man called for Elijah. And straightway one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar, and put it on a reed and gave him to drink. The rest said, let be. Let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, he lit up the boots, and behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rocks rent, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose and came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto men. Now when the centurion and they were with him, watching Jesus, saw the earthquake and those things that were done, they feared greatly, saying, Truly this was the Son of God. And many women were there beholding afar off which followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering unto him, among which was Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of seven. Zebedee's children. Look with me at Mark chapter 15, verse 33 to 40. And when the sixth hour was come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eloi, Eloi, Lama, Sabachani which is being interpreted, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And some of them that stood by when they heard it said, Behold, he called it Elijah. And one ran and filled a sponge full of vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink, saying, Let alone, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him. And Jesus cried with a loud voice and gave up the ghost. And the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom. And when the centurion which stood over against him saw that, he so cried out and gave up the ghost. He said, truly this man was the son of God. There were also women looking on afar off, among whom was Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James, the less and of Joseph and Salome, who 
whom also when he was in Galilee followed him and ministered unto him and many other women which came up with him unto Jerusalem. Father, I come to you today in no other name, but in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let this message be a blessing to the hearers, O oh Lord. Send deliverance to every captive soul and those who need salvation, O oh God. Save them in Jesus' name. Amen. From the sixth hour to the ninth hour means from noon until 3 p.m. The Bible says that there was a supernatural event. There was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour, which indicates that there was something different about Jesus' crucifixion. In verse 46, the Bible speci specifies the time of Jesus' death on the cross about the ninth hour or 3 p.m. And also verse 46 also shows Jesus' emotion. Please look with me at verse 46. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, lama, sabachthani. That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? He felt rejection and agony. In verse 50, his loud cry was a shout of victory, even in death. In verse 51 to 53, it symbolizes the new and permanent way to God's presence to man and man's direct access to God through Jesus Christ by the atonement for our sins through his death on the cross of Calvary. In verse 52 and 53, it speaks about the event. Please look with me at verse 52 and 53. And the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose. There was not only resurrection for Jesus Christ, but also some dead bodies arose. And verse 53 said, and came out of the grave after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. Truly, this was the Son of God. What an event, the earthquake and the fear. What an event. and 56. History records the people who were there. It has been recorded that many women were there for a reason. The Bible says that they followed Jesus from Galilee to minister unto him. What a man and what great courage of the women. Verse 56 states that there were many women, but there were two specific women of whom were separately identified and their names were Mary, but specifically the Mary whose name was Mary Magdalene. Why? She was specifically identified because 
she used to be a home wrecker. She had an indecent occupation. She was delivered from evil spirits and healed from her infirmity. She was a prostitute. But when Jesus delivered her, I said when Jesus delivered her from that immorality, when that spirit, demonic spirit was dealt with, when Jesus healed her from that infirmity, she was following Jesus all the way. Today we thank God for that mist of darkness that was on the land because of the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And by our acceptance of Jesus Christ, we have now, I said we have now inherited eternal life. Today I would like to remind God's people and also invite all those who who have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, that Jesus is coming again. I said Jesus is coming again. He's coming for a church without spot or wrinkle. And because of that, I would like to pray the blood of Jesus pray. If you don't know Jesus, I would like to lead you into the sinner's prayer for salvation before I pray the blood of Jesus' prayer. Father, I come to you today, Lord, and in the name in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I'm sorry for my sin. Please forgive me and make me born again. I repent of all my sins. I pray that after you have prayed the sinner prayer, that you can find a church located in your neighborhood that is preaching the new good news of salvation and that is preaching in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Today I would like to also pray the blood of Jesus Christ for victory in your finances, in your health, in your family, in your marriage, for deliverance from all generational curses and deliverance from every demonic spirit and deliverance from witchcraft and the spirit of violence and all evil. O the blood of Jesus, Robo Shekin, Robo si keremonto raba sha koromonto robo shaya. Ah kashe keremos haya. Or a blood of Jesus. Or a blood of Jesus. Or a blood of Jesus. Or a blood, the blood. The blood of all sheke o koshata. Or a blood of Jesus right now. The blood, the blood. The blood, the blood. The blood against every principality and every power. The blood of Jesus against every throne and every kingdom. Every situation and every circumstances. That is coming up against the nature of Jesus Christ. That is coming up against the word of God. The blood of Jesus against you. The blood of Jesus Christ against every principality and every power. Every throne and every ruler that is coming up against your finances, your marriage, your family structure, your health and your strength, your peace and your joy, your salvation today. The blood of Jesus against every witch and every wizard. The blood of Jesus against every hakorobo shakayabo shanta. Every principality, every demonic authority, the blood of Jesus is against you right now. How can if you need healing, I plead the blood of Jesus for your healing. Why pray the blood of Jesus? Pray because the blood of Jesus annihilates 
every demonic activity, every witch and every wit, wizard right now. What the word annihilates means to utterly destroy. We pray the motion, we pray the blood of Jesus to annihilate every demonic presence. We plead the blood of Jesus over your marriage for divine protection against every demonic spirit that has been assigned and designed to interfere or to interrupt your marriage, your family structure to bring your children to a place of rebellion. I plead the blood, I plead, I plead, I plead. Right now, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus, the blood, the blood. Oh, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood, the blood. The blood of Jesus in your finances, in your health and in your strength, in your marriage proposal, in your engagement, whatever your situation and your circumstances today, I plead the blood of Jesus in the atmosphere for your healing, the blood of Jesus, for your joy, your, your hope, your health, and your strength today. I plead the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus uh, dominate the atmosphere right now and give you the victory. The blood of Jesus was shed for you on Calvary. I plead, I plead, I plead, I plead, I plead, I plead. I plead the blood of Jesus to revolutionize lives and livelihood uh, and to dominate uh, and to pull down and to dethrone and to destroy uh, every generational curse, every hindrance, uh, every opposing force, uh, the blood of Jesus to bring promotion on your job, uh, the blood of Jesus right now. God bless you, continue to use the blood of Jesus because it's a weapon, uh, hallelujah. Your spiritual warfare, God bless you in Jesus' name.